you. Oh, you go to Houghton. It's especially if it's people that are alum or that, that have connections to the school in some other way. It's it's just great to connect people connect with people like that. It's really it's a lot of fun. My mother-in-law was a class of 1960, and this past weekend she spent um, time with probably. Are there any Vogans in the room here? Are there? Are there? Anybody last name Vogan here? Okay. Is there? There's some students, right? Um, must be grandparent. Ruth Vogan is the grandparent. Um, and my mother-in-law are still good friends. They still keep in touch. And, um, and they, were they were together last weekend. So 50 plus years later, um, still keeping that connection to Houghton. And that, and that friendship and the relationship continues. So why did I bring this topic up to you tonight? All right? And why did I run way over time? And thank you for staying. Unless you're going to live in solitary confinement. confinement. Does anybody want to do that? I don't think so. You will spend the rest of your life interacting with people. Okay? It's going to be basically on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. And as you do that, some people you're going to be around for just a short period of time. Some people you get the elevator speech and that's it. But that may lead to something else. Others, again, you're going to build in, in relationships for, for a lifetime. With the opportunities that you have now in front of you and what you know of now and those to come, choose, choose carefully. Think about those things that you're going to pursue, that you're going to go for. Think about those things you're going to walk away from. Um, and seek out those that are going to support you. Again, back to the issue of mentoring here. Um, those that are going to support you, encourage you, and provide you with wise counsel. And on the other side of that, Look for opportunities where you can do the same. So your college students now, how many of you, I saw a bunch of you that raised your hands that said you were the youngest. How many of you are the oldest and have younger siblings? Okay? Or you have youth groups at home. You have friends that are at home. Take your opportunity when you see those people to bring your Houghton experience to them. Talk about how it's meant, what it's meant to you sort of open them up. That gives you an opportunity maybe to be in that mentor role or that sort of teaching role uh, with those around. And um, I'd be remiss if I didn't say um, that prayer is a, is a very big part of this too. Um, I know where we're at in the economy. I know that many of you are probably sitting here saying, that's great, um, but I don't know what I'm going to do when I leave here. And um, just remember the words in Jeremiah that God, God said, I know the plans I have for you. Just remember that um, He does have a plan for you. And uh, seek out that plan uh, daily. Uh, something that I think you know, all of us struggle with, myself included. But um, really look for, for His direction in your lives. And, um, and uh, you will see it 